हेलो फ्रेंड्स आप सभी का फिर से एक बार स्वागत है मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल में जिसका नाम है कॉमर्स ट्रेजर सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ एमसीक्यूज ऑन फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द फर्स्ट पार्ट आई हैव गिवन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एज वेल एज द आई बटन ऑन द टॉप प्लीज लुक एट दोज क्वेश्चन विच आर ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज match the following type questions now you have been given list a and list b and you have to match the correct terms so factoring services as we discussed in the last video it is a receivable management economic order quantity eoq all of us have studied that it is an inventory management technique and commercial paper also i explained you in the last class it is nothing but it is raised by cash poor companies as a working capital finance technique so the correct answer will be first b second c and third d that is option number c so the second question is in case the projects are divisible under capital rationing an appropriate project appraisal method is whether it is npv or whether it is profitability index whether it is irr or payback period so we know that capital rationing method we use in your profitability index method right which is also called as benefit cost approach right so the right answer is profitability index method wherein we use the technique of capital rationing the next question is permanent working capital is generally financed through now there are two type of working capital policy one is permanent working capital policy and another is temporary working capital policy permanent working capital policy is a policy wherein you finance your working capital through long term capital funds whereas temporary working capital policy is a policy wherein you finance the working capital through short term loans or short term funds so now they have asked us permanent working capital so the answer will be long term capital funds so the next question is capital budgeting is a part of which type of decision now there are three types of decision which you have to remember in financial management one is your financing decision wherein we go with all the financing related activities second one is your dividend decision wherein we go with division related aspects and the third important decision is investment decision wherein we go with the investment related aspects so capital budgeting is also a type of investment that is long term investment so it is nothing but part of investment decision the next question is capital budgeting deals with now what does capital budgeting deals with as i said capital budgeting deals with long term decisions and short term decisions are dealt by what working capital management correct right? so we have two concepts one is working capital management which is for short term decision day to day business decisions and long term capital decisions are capital budgeting decisions the next question is which of the following is not used in capital budgeting now capital budgeting as i said is a very important topic so many questions are asked on this so these are some related questions so which of the following is not used in capital budgeting time value of money definitely we have to use present value sensitivity analysis definitely we use in capital budgeting cash flow also we use in capital budgeting so net asset method is not a part of capital budgeting technique the next question is capital budgeting decisions are now either they are reversible decision either they are irreversible decision or either they are unimportant decision or all of the above so capital budgeting decisions are always irreversible decisions they are long term decisions which you cannot take daily basis or again and again for example if you want to purchase a land or a car for business or transport vehicle for business it is one time decision and cannot be done again and again therefore this type of decisions are always irreversible decisions next question is in capital budgeting the term capital rationing we saw few questions back that capital capital rationing is related to profitability index so what does this capital rationing means that there is no retained earnings available or that limited funds are available for investment no external funds can be raised or no fresh investment is required so right answer is there are limited funds available for investment so whenever there is limited funds what we do we go with capital rationing wherein we select the important projects first in line we calculate the rank and as per the ranks we go on select the project till we have the amount 
the next question is money discount rate is equal to now what is this money discount rate money discount rate is nothing but it is your nominal rate of return we have studied in fisher's effect that there are three types of rates one is nominal rate then we have something called as real rate and then we have something called as inflation rate so there are three types of rate and there is a relationship which is given by fisher among these three concepts now money discount rate that is nominal rate is equal to so we know the formula of nominal rate of return that is 1 plus n is equal to 1 plus r into 1 plus i where n is equal to nominal rate r is equal to real rate and i is equal to inflation rate so what will be the formula for n n is equal to 1 plus r into 1 plus i minus 1 so 1 plus r into 1 plus i minus 1 is nothing but the first option so this is going to be your answer the next question is in certainty equivalent approach adjusted cash flow are discounted at so always in your ce approach adjusted cash flow are discounted at risk free rate of return accounting rate of return internal rate of return and hurdle rate all three concepts are nothing but it is called as your k okay but in case of your adjusted cash flow discounting rate we make use of risk free rate of return that is rf so the right answer is risk free rate of return the next question is which of the following has the highest cost of capital now equity shares loan bonds or preference share we know that always the highest rate of return is nothing but equity shares that is ke is always greater than all the cost it is the most costly among all the different options of raising of funds of financing the next question is cost of capital for government security is also known as so government securities are also known as risk free security therefore cost of capital will be risk free rate of return the next question is business risk can be measured by now usually we talk about two main types of risk in our financial management one is your business risk and business risk is nothing but risk relating to paying of fixed cost so which is nothing but measured by your operating leverage and one more risk we use in our business is your financial risk which is measured by your financial leverage so business risk you have to remember operating leverage and financial risk you have to remember financial leverage the next question is bird in hand argument was given by now bird in hand argument was given by gordon's model right in the last video we studied about gordon's model so what gordon says that if you have an option of getting dividend today or in future always the shareholder are going to select taking of dividend today because future is uncertain and we do not know whether we are getting the same amount in future or not so therefore it is said that bird in hand is quite better than two in bushes right so whatever we get immediately is quite better than whatever we are going to get in future this is what gordon model says next is operating leverage is calculated by now operating leverage you know the formula is contribution divided by ebit which helps us to measure relationship between your sales and your ebit and the last question for today is financial leverage is calculated by so operating leverage we saw it was contribution divided by ebit and financial leverage is nothing but ebit divided by pbt or sometimes we also call it as ebt earnings before tax so these are some questions on financial management i have one more special question for you if you know the answers please comment me in the comment box that is who gave ni that is net income and net operating income theory of capital structure so please comment the answers if you know in the comment box so this is all about today's video if you like the video please hit the like button and share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel so that you will get the new notification as i leave the new video thank you guys we'll meet again with a new topic in the next class